Franco charts are one of the most valuable instruments which offer a great value to patient traders. Although Renko trading is not as popular and not as well known as a normal candlestick or bar chart, you'll be surprised about how profitable it can be if used correctly. In this video, I'll explain you the concept of Renko trading, I'll show you the advantages of using this type of chart, and you'll also discover a simple Renko strategy to trade a stock market. Before we continue, if you are new to the channel, Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell and leave a like to show your support. So what is a Renko chart? A Renko chart is a graphical display that only involves the price movement because the time and the volume are not included. The construction of a Renko chart is simple. A brick, or better said, the body of a Renko bar, is formed in the next column once the price exceeds the top or the bottom of the previous brick by a predefined amount. In this case, I use a 100 brick, but you could use any brick size you want, 10, 20, it all depends on your trading style. The difference between common charts and Renko is noticeable. The conventional charts like candlestick charts or bar charts are plotting a new candlestick based on time. The uniqueness of Renko charts is that this technique plots a brick only when the price moves a certain amount of pips or ticks in one direction or the other. Now, you might wonder, how is this better than a classic candlestick chart? Here are the main advantages of Renko trading. First, Renko charts are very effective for traders to identify key support and resistance levels. In this chart, we noticed how simple it is to plot the support and resistance levels. And most interestingly, notice how price reacts to these support and resistance levels from the left side of the chart. By using Renko chart for support and resistance, we can see the price action being more responsive. Second, Renko charts offer a simpler look of the market and indicate trends in a more clean way. Here we have the evolution of the price during the past 7 months. Look how obvious it is for you to identify the trends. Since December to January, we have 2 months of downward price action and after that we have a clear uptrend, with the price making higher highs and higher lows. Another important advantage is the fact that it removes the market noise seen on typical candlestick charts or bar charts, including wicks, false breakouts or price volatility. In addition, Renko charts are suitable for scalping and short-term trading, so if you want to scalp the market, I would say it's better to use a Renko chart than trading on the 1 minute time frame. Also, it allows traders to catch larger moves by filtering out minor price fluctuations. One of the most important advantages of Renko charts is a better determination of stop losses and take profit targets. With Renko charts, it's very easy to place your orders based on the previous bricks. You just have to time your entry and make sure your orders are placed accordingly. Also, what I've noticed over the years is the fact that uh, Renko trading minimize overtrading and increase patience, which will make you a better trader overall. Now enough with the theory and let's dive right into a simple Renko strategy. For this setup, I use a 100 Renko brick. A new green Renko bar forms only after the current price exceeds the top of the previous Renko bar by 100 points. The closing price of a green Renko bar is also the high for the green Renko bar. A new red Renko bar forms only after the current price surpasses the bottom of the previous Renko bar by 100 points. The closing price of a Renko bar is also the low for the red Renko bar. Besides the 100 Renko brick, I also prefer to add a 10 moving average in order to determine the trend and the OBV. So, Renko bars are based only on price, but I don't want to neglect the volume. The on balance volume is a momentum indicator that relates volume to price change and shows if the market volume is flowing in or out of a stock. In other words, the OBV offers information regarding the strength of price movements. OBV increases or decreases during each day 
in correlation on whether the price closes higher or lower compared to the close during the previous period. The main assumption is that the OPV movements precede price changes. As the volume is the main fuel behind the market, OPV is designed to anticipate when major moves in the market would occur. For this reason, the OPV will play an important part in our strategy. Here are the main rules of this strategy. We'll use the 100 Renko brick to identify key support and resistance levels, to determine the market trends, and also to place our stop losses and take profit targets. We'll use the 10 simple moving average to determine the short term trend, and we confirm our bias with the on balance volume to determine if market's volume is flowing into or out of the traded instrument. Here is the setup for a long signal. A new green Renko bar forms above the 10 simple moving average. We only take trades in the direction of the simple moving average. When the Renko bars are traded above the SMA, we look for long entries only. We filter the signal with the on balance volume. We look for a new high in the OBV, which indicates that the buyers are stronger than sellers and the price is likely to increase. When OBV increases in correlation with the price, the upward trend is confirmed. Stop loss will be placed two Renko bars below the entry point. We can exit the position manually if the price falls below the simple moving average. Minimum take profit should be 3 Renko bars in the future to cover the spread and the commissions. When the price reaches this target, we can move our stop loss to break even and let the trade ride, or we can use a trailing stop to capture a larger part of the move. In this example, we have 4 valid buy entries, all of them bringing decent returns. And here we have another chart, during which we had 5 signals. Remember to always look at the on balance volume to confirm the entry. Also, here's another tip to reduce your losses. Take a closer look at the slope of the 10 moving average. For better quality signals, try to enter the market when the moving average is pointing upward. In our case, the first two signals appeared when the 10 SMA was flat, so a conservative trader would have ignored these signals and focused on the last ones when the slope was clearly pointing upward. And here is the setup for a short signal. A new red Renko bar forms below the 10 simple moving average. We only take trades in the direction of the simple moving average, so when the Renko bars are traded below the 10 SMA, we look for short entries only. We filter the signal with the on balance volume. We look for a new low in the OBV, which indicates that the sellers are stronger than buyers and the price is likely to decrease. When OBV decreases in correlation with the price, the downward trend is confirmed. Stop loss will be placed two Renko bars above the entry point. We can exit the position manually if the price increases above the simple moving average. Minimum take profit should be three Renko bars into the future. As in the case of a buy signal, when the price reaches the target, we can move our stop loss to break even and let the trade ride, or we can use a trading stop to capture a larger part of the move. On our example, we had 4 signals. The first one was a losing trade, but we could easily avoid it if we looked at the slope of the simple moving average, which was flat. The next 3 signals were successful as the price and the OBV went head to head and the price was making lower lows and lower highs. And in this example, we had 3 entries. The first entry here with some risk because the slope of the simple moving average was pointing upward. The second entry was here with the perfect setup from the simple moving average and the OBV. 
and the third one here, also riskier because the simple moving average was flat. The price consolidated for a few days below the simple moving average before it finally continued its downward direction. So for you to record better results, pay attention to the slope of a 10 simple moving average and try to enter when you see the slope in correlation with the market trend. Also, pay attention to the recent market swings. Try to enter long during long-term upward trends and go short during long-term downtrends. Now, if you found value and enjoyed this type of content, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell and leave a like to show your support. Until next time.